गुड आफ्टरनून टू एवरी वन आई पूजा आर्य वर्किंग एज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर एट ईशान इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ फार्मेसी आई टेक दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी टू वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ ईशान इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ फार्मेसी इन आर वेबिनार द टॉपिक ऑफ आर वेबिनार इज जॉब अपॉर्चुनिटी आफ्टर डिप्लोमा इन फार्मेसी This webinar aims to address detailed information about diploma in pharmacy and career opportunities. Now, let's begin this webinar with introduction of pharmacy. Pharmacy is the science of preparing and dispensing drugs. This science uses principles of health sciences, biology and chemical science to create and dispense pharmaceutical drugs. It involves ensuring the safety and efficacy of pharmaceutical drugs. One of the smallest branch of pharmacy is diploma in pharmacy. Now understand what is diploma is in pharmacy. Diploma in pharmacy is a short range course for aspirants. Diploma in Pharmacy is a short range course for aspirants who wants to start their career in the field of pharmacy instead of doing long term courses in pharmacy domain de pharmacy courses is the ideal choice for the students who wants a quick start in their uh, pharmacy career pursuing de pharm can be a good beginning to understand the fundamental of pharmacy program and then pursue advanced course like b pharm and pharm d diploma in pharmacy covers fundamental pharmacy education including the application of chemistry in the pharma industry theoretical and practical concept of pharmacy a uh, pharmacy pharmacology and toxicology the course enables the students to study about different chemical salts their application and uses in medicines the program holds high significance in the pharmaceutical industry so now so now i would like to introduce you all faculty of shyan institute of pharmacy ms shivani shivastav and mrs ashifa siddiqui who are here so now i would like to introduce you all to faculty members of ishan institute of pharmacy ms shivani shrivastava and mrs asifa siddiqui who are here to answer queries related to d pharm program first i would like to invite ms asifa siddiqui ma'am Good afternoon, everyone. I am Ashifa Siddiqui, Assistant Professor in Ishan Institute of Pharmacy. Thank you, Pooja Ma'am, for inviting me. I would love to answer your query.
The design of program will make the admitted students strong in foundation knowledge of the pharmacy profession. Candidate will become sound in various fields. It will develop good qualities like patient-centered care, patient encouragement, health and wellness promoter, interprofessional collaborator, and communicator. The students will learn to communicate effectively, verbally and non-verbally, when interacting with an individual, group, or organization. Self-aware to examine and reflect personal knowledge, skills, abilities, beliefs, motiv motivation that could enhance personal and professional growth, novelty, and free internship. Enterprise will move demanding and challenging qualities, which will get developed in students during completion of course by getting engaged in innovative activities using creative thinking to envision better ways of accomplishing professional goals can be achieved. Proficiency will get inculcated to exhibit behaviors and values those are persistent with the trust given to the profession by patients and other healthcare providers. Thank you, Booza ma'am, for inviting me. I would love to answer your queries. Now, I would like to invite uh, Ms. Shivani ma'am for answering a few questions. Next question, what is the eligibility to take admission in Diploma in Pharmacy? Any student who has cleared 10th and 12th standard with science stream, that is physics, chemistry, biology, or physics, chemistry, mathematics, are eligible to take admission. The student should have passed the 10th and 12th standard with aggregate 55%. It is also required that the student should be appeared in intermediate examination within five years. Thank you, ma'am. Next question is for Ashfa, ma'am. Is diploma in pharmacy hard to study? No, it is not hard if you love the subject and willing to excel in that field. As we can see, the diploma in pharmacy course takes only two years and the syllabus is very easy to absorb by the students. Diploma in pharmacy includes subjects like pharmaceutical chemistry, pharmacology, pharmaceutics, and pharmacognosy are the pillars of this course. Teachers at our institute, that is, Ishan Institute of Pharmacy, explain the complete course in elaborative and easy way so that every student can understand all the concepts here. Basically, two core two categories of people do this course. First, the people who immediately want a drug license after two years to sell medicines and open up a chemist shop, whether as wholesaler or a retailer. Second, people who can do bachelor's that is the pharmacy ahead so that they can pursue the various scopes. Finally, I would say Diploma in Pharmacy is not that tough as compared to the pharmacy. You are taught everything in short about how a drug acts on a target organ. In pharmaceutics, you are taught categories of drugs like liniments, dentifrices, and lotions, and about all their salts so that you can at least be made to understand for what purpose a drug is actually taken. Handling and reading prescription is also an important topic to include in it. A student not being declared to be have passed in diploma in pharmacy examination unless the course he or she scores at least 50% mark in each of the subjects separately in the short examinations, including sessional marks, and the least marks is 50% in each of the practical examinations. 
the candidate is securing 60% marks or above in aggregate in all subjects in a single attempt at the diploma in pharmacy first year or diploma pharmacy second year examination shall be declared to have in first class so the diploma in pharmacy first year of diploma in pharmacy second year examination as the case may be candidates securing 75% or above in any subject or subjects shall be declared to have passed with this distinction in the subject or those subjects provided he she passes in all subjects in a single attempt eligibility for promotion to diploma in pharmacy second year that is all the students who have appeared for all the subjects and passed all the diploma exams in first year are eligible for the promotion of diploma in second year however failure is no more than two subjects shall be debar him from promotion to the diploma in pharmacy second year students who wants to improve sectional marks can do so by appearing in two additional sectional examination during the next academic year the average score of the student of in examination shall be the basis for improvement sectional marks in theory the sectional of practicals shall be improved by appearing in additional practical examination marks awarded to a student for two day by day assessment in the practical class and cannot be improved unless she or he attends a regular course of the study again i hope this question is clear ma'am uh thank you ma'am next question is for ashifa ma'am how often are exams held yearly or semester wise yes ma'am for diploma in pharmacy program examination held annually that means students have to appear an exam twice for completing diploma in pharmacy exam conducted in offline mode usually exam include both practical exams as well as theory exams in first year of diploma students are having five practical subjects and five theory subjects in first year theory and practical subjects are same like hct that is human anatomy and physiology pharmaceutics 1 pharmaceutical chemistry 1 pharmacognosy social pharmacy but in second year the practical subjects are different from practical like uh, cardiology and toxicology pharmaceutical chemistry 2 pharmaceutics 2 hospital and clinical pharmacy and the theory subjects are pharmaceutics 2 drug store and business management that is dsbm pharmacology and toxicology environmental education and disaster management that is ecdm hospital and clinical pharmacy and pharmaceutical jurisprudence next question is for shivani ma'am is diploma in pharmacy a good career of course yes because diploma in pharmacy course makes a person eligible to work as registered pharmacist after completing diploma course in pharmacy one gets opportunity to work as pharmacist in private as well as in government hospitals after completing their course that is diploma course in pharmacy the student is eligible to take a pharmacy license from the government and will become eligible to open their own pharmacy store see uh, initially the student can uh, open retail pharmacy store uh, the, the opening of pharmacy store makes uh, makes the student capable of being that is uh, maybe we can say that the student will become an entrepreneur becoming an entrepreneur is a very big thing especially in india because it perfectly correlates the slogan that is atmanirbhar bharat given by our honorable prime minister narendra modi ji if the student knows how to run his retail shop he can upgrade his retail shop into wholesale market or we can say wholesale pharmacy store once the student will understood how to run both retail as well as wholesale he can go for community pharmacy now the question arises what is community pharmacy see community pharmacy is a pharmacy which include several sections 
where the pharmacist work the work of pharmacist is to advise and consult the patients the pharmacist advise the patient on how to take prescribed drugs it's also a pharmacist job to inform the patients how to take the precautionary measures and also it aware they aware the patients about drug drug interaction according to ptr act they can charge for their consultancy uh, the ppr act is um, stands for pharmacy practice regulation according to ppr act a pharmacist is eligible to open his own pharmacy clinic uh, our next question is for ashfa ma'am which job is best after diploma in pharmacy okay. After obtaining the degree, you can apply in pharmaceutical company and work opportunities in private firms. There are several firms like data analyst, uh, data analyst, pharmacist in charge, clinical pharmacist. Data analyst is a person who is responsible for analyzing the data of pharmaceutical company on inpatient data of hospitals. Pharmacist in charge is higher level officer in any government pharmacy or retail chain pharmacy stores. Retail chain. in pharmacy stores clinical pharmacists work with cros that is clinical research organizations who is responsible for correction and analyzing the data of clinical trials in a hospital setup after diploma in pharmacy job of a hospital pharmacist is best because nowadays salary of regular pharmacists starts from 15000 to 16000 and with more experience a hospital pharmacist few years of service senior pharmacist is promoted to chief pharmacist with salary ranging from 80000 to 1.2 lakh the decision of chief pharmacist is binding for the hospital in which he is posted different pharmaceutical companies can supply to that hospital only after approval by chief pharmacist next question is for shivani ma'am can we uh, get government job after diploma in pharmacy yes so the indian government offers a number of employment openings which prioritize the diploma in pharmacy holders in fields including hospital that is government hospital Uh, research and development teams uh, and uh, pharmaceutical companies for the viewers so, or mainly for the students who are watching this webinar i would like to share few pharmaceutical company names for their future reference that are first one is idpl that is indian drug pharmaceutical limited second is project and development india limited third one is rajasthan drugs and pharmaceutical limited fourth one is bengal chemicals and pharmaceutical limited the fifth one is hindustan antibiotics limited sixth one is hindustan fluorocarbon limited seventh one is indian medicines and pharmaceutical corporation limited eighth one is karnataka antibiotics and pharmaceutical limited ninth one is orissa drug and the chemical limited Tenth one is Bharat Immunological and Biological Corporation Limited. Mainly the last one that is Bharat Immunological and Biological Corporation Limited. They deal with parental formulations specifically. Thank you, Shivani, ma'am, for answering. Our next question is for Ashfa, ma'am. What is the scope of diploma in pharmacy in defense sector? Uh, defense sector is a 
very important field there are pharmacists can serve his or her country with dignity defense sector is mainly divided into four categories that is army navy air force and paramilitary forces every force has vacancies for pharmacists after joining any of these forces of pharmacists also undergoes rigorous armed training he is provided necessary training for combat operation along with providing pharmacy service to the forces the pay scales starts in defense sectors are even better than civil hospitals pay packages provided to the pharmacists who are providing their service at high end next question is for shivani ma'am future after diploma in pharmacy see diploma in pharmacy is suited to study many subjects with practical skills and specialization in colleges and universities diploma in pharmacy student is qualified with good practical exposures after completion of diploma in pharmacy course there are various career opportunities like medical transcription technical supervision camels medical representative now let me describe all of them one by one first one i would like to describe medical transcription see as a medical transcription responsibility of a pharmacist is to assist the hospital staff and insurance companies about keeping the medical records of a patient it is an applied health profession which deals with transcribing voice recorded medical records that are detected by hospital physician nurses and other healthcare professionals a medical report can be voiced by notes taken during a lecture and prescription of rmp that is registered medical practitioner second one is technical supervision chemist as a technical supervision is a person who will be responsible for synthesis of accurate and precise api api stands for active pharmaceutical ingredients which will be later converted to different types of medicines third one is medical representative we also say in simple words mr see as a mr medical representative is a person responsible for marketing of branded medicines of pharmaceutical companies for one molecule pharmaceutical spend 15 to 20 million dollars and due for this huge amount of money can also be regained by marketing the patented medicines of company is it clear ma'am yes ma'am okay. next question is for ashfa ma'am after completion of diploma in pharmacy one can get a job in abroad yes ma'am in foreign countries that pro foreign countries provide a good scope in various chemicals and pharmaceutical companies one may expect much higher pay scale compared to india on securing a job abroad indians are very much preferred in abroad for pharmaceutical services like pharmacists retail operation pharmacists clinical pharmacists medical pharmacists they are highly paid for example salary of a pharmacist in usa is between 60k meaning 60000 to 80000 per month the highest paid pharmacy is in in uh, is in countries like switzerland where salary starts from 1 lakh dollar per annum registered pharmacists from india often migrate to usa uk canada australia and dubai where they provide their services the pharmacists from india need to clear pharmacist registration examination of these respective con- countries next question is for shivani ma'am is there another career in d pharmacy career that might be interesting yes there is another interesting future or we can say career can be degree in law after diploma in pharmacy many pharmaceutical companies hire litigation and ipr that is intellectual property law pharmacists in this the pharmacists can also work in intellectual property rights ipr ipr in india protects patents and provides exclusive rights to the organization to market their drugs and medicines the 
patent valid for 20 years which means the only patent holder organization can manufacture in the market their medicine for 20 years a pharmacist can become a patent officer after clearing patent office examination that is pan india next question is for ashifa ma'am what are advantage and limitations of diploma in pharmacy advantages of diploma in pharmacy is that this course offers bilingual option to study including hindi and english it takes only two years and one can become registered pharmacist after completion of diploma course one can work as lab technician in any college or institute another is the fees structure of diploma in pharmacy is less is less as compared to other courses this course helps in exploring pharmacy in short time duration and the limitations of diploma in pharmacy are one to be very skilled in art of dispensing medicine accurately otherwise it may cause trouble at workplace after becoming registered pharmacy it's essential it is essential to have complete knowledge about medicines because patients completely depends on pharmacists regarding those regarding dose uptake it is compulsory to be updated which drug banned in market and how many new drugs introduced in market becoming pharmacist is very crucial thing because suggesting wrong medicine could cause death of patients or may cause severe drug interaction thank you ma'am it was wonderful to spend time with you pooja ma'am you have asked very relevant questions and i hope that i answered all the question all the queries properly thank you india is now known as pharmacy of the world and currently the government of india is promoting pharmaceutical industries for in house production of many apis for which till now we were depends on china there for we can say that future of pharmacy is very bright in our country and thousands of pharmacists will be required to create this huge demand in pharmaceutical field my best wishes to all the students who joined diploma in pharmacy program thank you ms shivani shivastav and ms asfa siddiqui for answering all the queries thank you all thank you ma'am